the symptoms of uh, alcoholic liver disease in the beginning is just fatigue then you can get yellowness of the eyes later on you will get a distension or swelling of the abdomen swelling of legs what we call ascites and pedal edema and uh, even later on you will get bleeding from various sites and then finally you'll have kidney damage and you'll have uh, what we call encephalopathy which is a change in mental behavior it's the absolute amount of alcohol that is important and sometimes people make the mistake they think that beer has no alcohol in it but actually when you drink beer you drink by the can by the by the pint by the bottle and that if you multiply by 5% alcohol it actually becomes a huge amount of alcohol so it's not which brand you take or which type of alcohol do you take but side by side of course one another problem that ha that we see often is that people who take alcohol sometimes are also malnourished because most of their calorie intake comes from alcohol and they're not taking any other food item at all liver damage luckily liver is one of those unique organs which heals itself but the person who who takes alcohol is often instructed and told to quit alcohol but sometimes they find it very difficult and therefore the liver continues to get more and more damaged because the uh, uh, healthy liver can regenerate itself a diseased li li liver finds it very difficult to regenerate itself and a cirrhotic liver cannot uh, repair itself so once you quit alcohol automatically and you take the right amount of nutrients balanced diet bit of exercise lose weight your liver to most of the time will recover completely yeah as a general rule uh, if you uh, if you had uh, if you think you take too much alcohol then you should get a, a liver function test done and side by side you should get what we call a fibro scan done a liver function test will in the beginning will just tell you right, uh, enzymes otpt have risen gamma gtp is written and mostly uh, uh, if you still feel compelled to take alcohol then at least wait for these tests to become normal before you start uh, sort of taking alcohol again but if you have any amount of fibrosis or cirrhosis in the liver on the fibro scan that you're much better off stopping alcohol altogether frequency is once uh, like uh, annually you should get it done but if you take regular amounts of alcohol and you in that case you may need to do it more frequently if you cannot actually uh, uh, stop drinking so for example if you have a, a, a raised enzyme and you ca cannot uh, uh, for, cannot get yourself to stop taking alcohol then obviously you should keep doing your test every 3 months uh, otherwise you will reach a stage where uh, we will not be in a position to repair your uh, liver at all so if you have a suspicion that you may have liver disease related to alcohol then you should do it every 3 months otherwise uh, annual blood test is good enough liver detoxification is important for many reasons because the liver is the only organ in the body which has huge number of functions and majority of these functions are related to detoxification so all the drugs that we take are kind of uh, hand go through the liver so the first and foremost thing whenever you have a liver problem then unnecessary medicines that can potentially harm the liver should be avoided even simple medicines can become quite dangerous in patients with liver disease for example painkillers such as vovran or brufen if you have liver disease they can be very very toxic to the liver so liver detoxification is important now a fatty liver is something that's a kind of a scourge of this modern century where all of us are eating much more all of us are not able to find time to exercise and therefore fat accumulates all over the body 
in and as a consequence in males particularly tends to accumulate in the abdominal viscera and liver is one of those uh, viscera in which fat gets deposited in a big amount as of now there isn't any medicine that we can give to convert fatty order but as change in lifestyle which is losing weight exercise changing from a, a carbohydrate rich diet to protein rich diet and will help you uh, get rid of your fatty liver